so wet. But do we care? Because we're detectorists. Greetings. Thanks for joining me on another metal detecting adventure. Sorry about the camera movement, it's windy. And I've got the camera on top of the truck so it falls I'm in big doo-doo. I've come back to a field just over my shoulder where I haven't been lately. It's still in six inches of uh, stubble from last harvest. I'm gonna get on there at the XP35 with Hunter One and I'll fiddle with the frequencies and we can see what we can find. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the field. Many thanks to you my new subscribers to Suffolk Sifter, you're much appreciated and your names will scroll from bottom to top at the end of the video, so don't go away. And keep your eyes open, if you see the word winner beside your name, you've won a small gift, so drop me a line and get in touch. Right, here we go, that's the field, it's not a big one. We've got a minor ditch to uh, fall into. So here it is, it's Roughly about six to eight inches in stubble at the moment. There's a lot of work going on, so you're going to have to excuse all the noise of the machinery. I'm on the X35, I'm on Hunt the One program. I'll have a fiddle with the frequencies and we're going to crack on. See you at the first hole. Right, it's mostly been shotgun ends and uh, I don't do anything live, but this one. I don't know whether you can see that on screen. It's an 89, it's sort of okay in the X wire, although not quite coinish, but I'll dig it, but um, I've got a funny feeling that's gonna be something silly. Now it's in there and it's sort of Change code a bit, so let's see if there's anything worth it in here. <laughs> you can already see it, look. Surface find, if I'd only looked. There you go, good numbers, but you've got to dig them, and unfortunately, this is what you get as a result. Okay, got an 85, dug it out, uh, realised it wasn't a coin, and I thought, oh, it's a bit of um, crotal bell, I suppose, but no, I don't think it's even a bit of crotal bell. It's, uh, it's a something, but what that something is, I do not know. Right, this is today's mystery surprise. Came in at the right numbers, but uh, goodness knows what it is looks like it's glass there then there's like a fitting over it i thought it could have been like a screw thread for a bowl but it's not that then at the top you've got this weird arrangement something electrical i suppose because possibly some terminals there oh, i don't know what do you reckon comments below please right just had a cheeky hop the uh, field and what was on is over there and there's another tiny tiny little field here which is near a road so I'm not going too close to the road as also I don't want to get it in shot there's a big compound to my right and obviously I don't want to get close to that as well for trash reasons I just had a I can see it I flicked it out there's a nice 95 and I just flipped it out of the hole it's come out with a clod and it's round I'm just hoping there's a coin uh, yep, is it a coin? And what sort of coin is it? Goodness knows what that is. This will involve getting my glasses on and getting my spritzer out. So, see you in a bit. Right, I've spritzed and I've tried to clean it, but it's got the lurgy. There's a lot of green mould on it. You can just see Britannia, um, but there's no date I can get from it. And 
the other side I think there's a bus looking to the right there is some writing on there but even with glasses on I can't see I'd have to have a look when I get home it's a coin it's a light coin but at the moment unknown it's got a twiddly bit I don't know what it is probably I'll say trash but just a thing with a loop in it a bit of a twiddle on it and a flat square bit at the end okay I've maxed out the frequency for the X35 I've gone up to 27 point whatever kilohertz and there's a something in here a good angle on the dangle on the XY and a good number but it's down about six inches just a bit wary about digging it <laughs> live just in case we get a bit of a farm uh, implement I'm still in there this is in the wall that's fairly deep let's just take one more out of here there you go white lead about eight inches down there you go surface find a key it's an HD key, so perhaps that's 1080p. <laughs> okay, I just flicked another coin out. It was an 83, around about four inches down. I've not looked at it yet, so I haven't got my glasses on either. So that's probably a, a good reason to put my bins on. There's two coins. Uh, can we find any ID on this? Sadly, not. No idea. Just I can just see a head there and some writing, but maybe maybe half penny. I don't know. We'll find out when we get back. Right, with the construction generator purring away behind me, all I can say is that, that sky does not look good. Uh, some spits of rain. I'm a fair way away from the truck with no shelter, so we'll just see how we go. I've got this teeny, teeny, tiny thing. It's only 54, I just sort of dig it, but I thought it was a button to start with. But then I thought it looks like a safety, not a safety pin, you know, tack pin. But then it's sort of hooked at the end, whether it's been like just bent through normal ploughing or whatever or whether it's meant to be like that I don't know so you tell me well, I knew it was going to be big and it's kind of 92 but I didn't realize it'd be that big now it's very heavy but it's got like a white inner core and without um, get me pokey thing out that might go through is it would it be some sort of a Sort of moulding, drainage type of thing they drag along? I don't know. Comments below, people. Well, that was a bit of a struggle, that one. That was down there. And uh, not quite a garret depth. But it's there. I haven't looked at it. It looks like a coin. Possibly it's round. Uh, it's uh, coming in at a very rainy <coughs> 56. I don't think it's anything special. It's in here, could be a button, could be anything. Could we just trash? And yes, it looks like a button. Oh dear. We get our hopes up, only for them to be dashed on the rocks of life. Right, another deep one. Seems to find very deep targets, this Hunter One program. Uh, <clears throat> just a buckle. Uh, could be any sort of buckle. Horse buckle, lunchbox buckle, anyway, it's sort of misting, misly, what do you call it? It's raining, but it's not raining very hard, but it's raining enough just to get everything nicely wet. So whether the lens is clear, is anyone's guess, so uh, we'll just see how we go on. Right, <coughs> it's going to be one of your last ones, and I don't know the truck is uh, a bit more than misting now. i uh, got a... 79 and I just knocked a clod and I can see it. Um, 
just in there. A little buckle or something, hopefully. Uh, Slay thin. Oh, it's not got this little pin with it. A little wee buckle. Tiny, tiny, teeny, teeny buckle. Well, there you have it. Um, not a whole lot of rosy, but a half decent time out. You've got to come out to a detecting session with hope in your heart. You've got to come out with the attitude that you're going to find something. If you go out with the attitude of, oh, I'm going to find rubbish again, that's not worth it, is it? Didn't find a heck of a lot. A couple of coins, big lead objects, and little blobby bits, and um, not much else. But thanks for joining me. I'll just get the haul together and you'll see what I found. Here we go, here's what I found. Well there's my haul. A um, couple of buckles there. This teeny thing looked like a, I don't know, I thought it might have been a hobnail but I doubt it. There's two coins of unknown identity. I've got a couple of little blobby bits. Little blobbies, blobby lead. There's this big bit of whatever, I don't know what it is. There's me key there, could be a 1080p key. Buttons, me twiddly whatever, and that's about it. Mystery item here is, I think is electrical, some sort of electrical fitting, I don't know, bulb holder, haven't got a clue. So there you go. It's raining now, so I'm a little bit damp. Thanks for coming with me, and I'll see you on the next video.